Do you got a taste for the fine things in life but your wallet isn't cooperating? Do you often wish you could add a bit of elegance and glamour to the grey every day but would rather hold on to your money than spend it on luxuries? If so, grab yourself a cup up, lean back and let's enjoy the good life for cheap. You know I make videos on how to look expensive on a budget or how to make your home look expensive on a budget but I thought it time I did one of everyday living because I'm not gonna lie, in the very beginning when building this business there were many hard years before it started getting easier. Building up our audience and trying to find a way to monetize talking about our passions, David and I used to be pretty damn skinned and for a few years we had to budgetize absolutely everything. Going through that though it really made us appreciate the small things, the tiny luxuries, and we became bloody experts on finding those tiny luxuries. Cheaply. And now when we have a more comfortable situation, we still live quite frugally and instead focus on saving as much as we can for our future, while still being able to enjoy those little everyday luxuries. So here are 7 tips on how to do just that. The number one most important shift in mindset, if you ask me, when you want a beautiful lifestyle without spending much, is to be a hardcore prioritizer. There are different luxuries we can spend money on, and with luxuries I simply mean the things that aren't strictly necessary, like rent and food and things. Depending on your passions, it can be, you know, upgrading your tech, it can be nice clothes, exciting trips, a lovely home, yummy restaurants, or a beautiful book collection. You know the things that truly give life that gold lining, as we say in Sweden. Cherry on top kind of things. Instead of trying to afford all of those things, why not choose one or maybe two that you really want to spend any disposable income on? I love traveling, sure, and dressing nicely is such a passion for me, but still my one true priority when it comes to money is my home. I spend so much time at home and I love the feeling of being in a space that's truly custom made for me. The furniture, the decor, the color scheme, the temperature, everything is the way I like it. Out of all the luxuries, the most important thing for me is to feel happy in my home. So if I have to choose, I always prioritize this. What about you? What is your one true luxury? Your book collection, your sneaker wall, your house plants? Share with the group. Here's an odd one, moving your furniture around. How does switching things up in your room make for a more luxurious life? Well, here's how I see it. We humans are addicted to newness. We love everything new and shiny, and a lot of bad shopping behaviors come from simply getting that urge for something new to play with. But whenever I redecorate a room, without buying a single new thing, I get that same feeling of newness. I think it's because our eyes get so used to a piece of furniture being in one place that when we move it, we will forget and be like surprised every time we re-enter the room for the next few weeks. And that kind of gives your home a luxe feel, kind of like we have moved to a new place without having to deal with the hassle and money issues with actually moving. Plus, whenever we redecorate, we tend to clear out and get rid of things we don't like. And that fresh, clean feeling also makes the room more beautiful and enjoyable to be in, of course. Like a fresh haircut, sort of, but for your home. A couple of weeks ago, I moved this sideboard to the other side of the room and then back again. And for the last few weeks, I've just been loving being in this room. Recommend, recommend. A big, big thank you to Coinbase for sponsoring me today. Coinbase is the leading and most trusted platform for trading and managing your crypto assets. And personally, David and I have been using Coinbase since way back in 2017, when we first started exploring crypto. So I know the platform really well by now, and it is very easy to use, completely uncomplicated. I use them simply to buy different types of crypto to kind of diversify my investments so that I don't have everything in one place and don't put all of my vegan eggs in one basket, so to speak. But of course, you guys, I'm not a financial expert and I'm not trying to give anyone money advice. I'm just like sharing with you how David and I invest our money and why we're choosing to do it in crypto. And the biggest reason why I like cryptocurrency is that it's a way for me to invest money without going through the traditional banking system. For ethical reasons, I'm not a fan of traditional banks and that's for me the biggest reason to instead invest in crypto, which uses a decentralized system, you know, 
It's just between us, the investors. One thing I truly appreciate about Coinbase is that they have an amazing set of learning resources so that you can understand more about how crypto works if you are a beginner and see if this is something for you. Because Coinbase is not about those get rich quick schemes, but instead about saving securely and making sure that us users have every possible way to educate ourselves on how to be smart and careful with our savings. It's easy to get started and as an incentive to use their learning resources, you can earn as you learn with the Coinbase Earn, which awards you with a little bit of crypto after you complete lessons, which you can then use to experiment with and see how it works. And when you sign up, you will also get helpful tips and education through email. But FYI, this offer is only available in the UK. Coinbase mission is to increase economic freedom around the world since crypto solves many of the problems with the current financial system that hinders people from taking part in the global economy. It's a safe, intuitive place for crypto traders and, like I said, easy to use. I myself have diversified my crypto wallet quite heavily and I've invested in a bunch of different cryptocurrencies. So if you think this might be something for you, why not sign up and get started today and begin your journey with crypto through Coinbase and join a more fair, accessible, efficient and transparent financial system. Just click the link below and try them out for yourself. Next up, let's talk about our shopping behavior. Are you a spur the moment kind of shopper or are you a research online till you find the best bargain type of shopper? I'm neither. I actually don't like to shop and I only do it reluctantly. But if you find joy in shopping, if it's one of your favorite pastimes, it's easy to spend all your money on things you don't really want or need just because you enjoy the actual hobby of opening your wallet. The only way to make sure that you stop buying many spontaneous, not so great things and instead only buying a few things that will really elevate your life's elegance factor is if you ask me to slow down. Window shop online window shop, spend longer before you click buy and actually enjoy the window shopping. Not all shopping days need to result in a purchase, you know. Doing your research and making your wish lists and waiting for sales will force us to only buy things that we really want because we take the spontaneity out of the equation. Also, it's so much greater an experience to buy something that you've been eyeing for a while, don't you think? By the way, if you like my expensive on a budget series, do give me a like, it will really help a girl out. And don't forget to click the little subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I make videos on fashion, interior design and living thoughtfully and beautifully in general. Now I know what you're thinking, what about those days? You know, those days when everything is horrible and your boss is mean and your schoolwork is mind-bogglingly boring and the only way you can get through the day is by knowing you will treat yourself to something nice afterwards. This is usually when we end up spending the money that we then regret spending, right? ordering home too much fast food, buying some cheap bad makeup, going out and getting expensively drunk and taking a taxi home. I wonder how much money we've all collectively wasted on bad mood splurging. I bet it's a lot. And on those days we have no self-control, we are beyond intelligent spending because we need a treat. So here's where we need to stock up on treats that are free or at least very cheap. There's so many things we can do to treat ourselves without spending big chunks. Free events and markets and museums and having a drink in the park instead of at a bar, cooking something at home slowly and deliciously, binge watching that crappy reality show that you love, taking a bath with someone cute. You get where I'm going. Because when we have those truly shitty days, we do deserve to really treat ourselves. It just doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, we got a new floor lamp to sit up for or whatever it is on the top of your priority wish list. When we're totally skint, the easiest way to feel elegant and enjoy the everyday luxuries is to fake it. Clothes and furniture and events and restaurants doesn't have to be expensive to look and feel and taste luxurious. If we can't afford fresh flowers, we can buy those gorgeous feathery dried things once and keep forever. If we can't afford nice restaurants or expensive bars, we can visit those places just for a coffee or a cheap beer to get the vibe and then sit at the table beautifully at home and have dinner in a gorgeous at-home setting. We can invest in a few very timeless classic mid-priced basics that look and feel luxe and that are super versatile and wearable instead of buying a lot of clothes. And when we invest in new furniture, we can get modern inexpensive pieces in simple, elegant, timeless styles. The 
point is, there are so many inexpensive things and places that are still totally gorgeous. And making that effort to dress up and setting the table and lighting those candles and keeping a tidy space, it doesn't cost anything. But I 100% assure you that it will make the everyday feel so much less grey and so much more luxe. Here's another tip all about fewer but better. Our adventures, our outings. Dave and I rarely eat dinner out, but when we do, we never ever just pop into a place. We choose carefully which restaurant we want to visit, and knowing that on Saturday we will go to one of our favorite sushi places, we look forward to the dinner and it makes us feel worth spending money on. When it comes to any type of adventure, like traveling or concerts or eating out, hotels, whatever, I personally find that looking forward to the date is half the fun maybe even more than half the fun. Anticipation is the more beautiful word. Even a small thing like going out for dinner feels more exciting and special if we looked forward to it for a couple of days, don't you agree? Or is it just me maybe? I'm such an anticipation addict. So choosing the restaurant or the hotel or whatever carefully is the way to get more out of your money because of the anticipation. And I personally never regret the money I spend when it comes to a very thought through spending like this. I mean, it's impossible to do a video on budget luxury without mentioning vintage and second-hand shopping. If you don't count the items that I've gotten as a part of brand partnerships, more or less all my most treasured items are vintage. It's something so classy about a piece of furniture or clothing or jewelry that's a one-off like this, and that you know that someone else has treasured and taken care of before you. Good quality items for cheap, there's no better source than the vintage shops. I recommend Vestiaire for clothes and jewelry, and for furniture, just go on Instagram and find a nice local one. And also, I mean, buying pre-owned is a zero guilt kind of shopping. It doesn't get more sustainable than that. Those were some of my tips on how to live a beautiful, elegant life on a budget, but I'm sure you have a ton of tips yourself, so hit me up in the comments on your favorite everyday luxuries that don't cost a thing. It would mean a lot if you wanted to give me a little thumb, and of course, go ahead and click subscribe if you're new around here so that you don't miss my next video. Ooh, I got some lovely winter ones coming up, can't wait to see you then. Thanks a million for hanging out, peace, peace, and hey do!